excited for this I show. Great. I can't wait. <laughs> it's awesome. Great. Awesome. Great. Awesome. Great. Awesome. Great. Awesome. Great. Oh, I love the bass. I'm trying to sing. I think the lights are coming on. All right. was inspecting a particularly pleasant piece of white quartz half buried in the dirt path. There is no one on earth who shows their gratitude and their entertainment and their appreciation for something like that than a child. Adults are browbeaten by life into, you know, fitting into an emotional square that, you know, they have to portray themselves this way. They can't get too excited. They can't be too sad. They all have to stay within this emotional range of what society expects of them, especially people who are in, you know, a more professional business, like adults are just trained to hide what they're feeling, whereas kids just lay it all out. They just put it right there in front of you. If they like something, they let you know. If they don't like something, they let you know. And that type of honesty is, it's beautiful. And as a performer, as an entertainer, it's invaluable. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, Arnold. Thanks for joining us. Hello, thank you. I'm glad to join you. Do you have formal training as a thespian? Oh, I don't. I don't know how to feel. Of course I do. What a rude question. Well, I didn't mean to offend you. It's just you seem very uh, Shakespearean. So oh, yeah. I was just true. yeah, I was just wondering, you know, about the training. Uh, did you can you attribute any of your uh, personality um, and your stage presence to a particular teacher? No, no. All of my teachers told me I was naturally gifted. I am just who I was meant to be. Mm -hmm. And how do you like your co-stars, Mr. Dave, Pula? How is it working with them on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, they can be difficult at times, but um, overall, I think we get along all right. Mm -hmm. I am still trying to get my own trailer, but eventually I'm sure my gifts and talents will be recognized to their fullest extent when things pick up around her. Oh, I guess I'll just, I'll just go. Dave and I have been performing together in various ways since we were kids. When he asked me to take part in Fun Time, I was really excited. I really loved what he does with the show, and I was seeing what he was doing, these puppets and characters that he was creating, um, and I absolutely was thrilled that <laughs> he wanted me to come play too. There's a really cool story actually from our childhood where Dave and I were both young teenagers. We were on the early teen side and we went to this place called the Dragon's Nest in Newburyport, Massachusetts. And there were all these cool handmade puppets in the back and we would sit back there and play and put on shows for ourselves. And then before you knew it, we had like a crowd of little kids watching us. And at one point, the owner actually approached us and <laughs> asked, hey, do you guys want to work here doing puppet demonstrations on the weekends? I was like, I'm only 15 and I don't have a work permit. And, you know, Dave said, thanks, but no thanks. So we went on our way to find our mom. <laughs> but it started at a young age and it's continuing now. Um, Dave has always had this complete joy at making kids happy and make them smile and making everyone laugh and I think he's really found his niche with this um I'm just excited that I get to go along for the ride well I think the most obvious answer is just having a bigger and more flexible space to use 
is going to allow the quality of the show to go up. Oh, well, uh, first I think it's because Mr. Dave said we needed a new space. Well, um, mostly because it was really inconvenient filming in a home. I mean, I love those kids and all, but uh, they can be a little bit rambunctious. And uh, it's a lot quieter here. It's really nice. Well, um, mostly because there's more spice. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I've been filming in a room set aside in my home with me and my four children. And for all of you who have children, you know, it's hard for them to be quiet. Um, so there were a lot of back and forth issues, shall we say. And uh, having a new space is not only exciting for me because we won't have to worry so much about that, but also just the ambient noise of things like neighbors and refrigerators and people using the bathroom and stuff like that are going to be much easier controlled. Oh, well, that's easy. Uh... What, 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 who, who, what did the other guys say? Stuff? I don't know. I'm not really into the technical aspect of it. I like books. Oh, interesting. I love how that question tied into what I just said. Hmm. Well, I have to say, the fact that it's more controlled is, uh, it's going to be really good for when we have other people come in and be guests on the show. Really for me to shine as a thespian? Hmm, yes. I think with the new studio, the separate space, the new lighting set up and everything, it's going to make me just look wonderful. We've had up until now, only one in-house guest, and uh, that was at the library, the Buckland Public Library, when we were still um, filming there. And uh, he came in, and of course we were very careful, and anybody who wasn't on camera was masked and making sure that everything was as clean and controlled as possible. In my home, we haven't been able to do that. Uh, because, well, it's a home with four children, and so it's just a completely different, it's not a professional situation, it's not a professional area. With the studio, we're going to be able to keep everything very well disinfected, very controlled, very clean, um, and therefore we'll be able to have guests actually come into the studio and be a part of the show, interact with the cast members like Mr. Dave or Arnold or what have you, um, and do their performance in-house instead of having to worry about a cell phone video or a video they shot sent to me. Obviously, the guests who are involved from far away won't be able to, uh, unless, you know, they buy a plane ticket. But uh, it's still going to, it's going to open up a lot more collaborative efforts, I think, and it's going to be, it's very, it's very exciting. I haven't given much thought. I'm just really excited about being here. <laughs> oh, well, I know when I got here, everything, it was really cool. I walked in and... Uh, the first time I came here, the lights and stuff weren't set up, but the wall was all painted. Mr. Dave did that. Well, they seem to really enjoy it. El Dude was really loud when we first got here. He was, he was seemed to be very overexcited, and, um, well, to be honest, I just kind of sat in the corner and waited for him to finish. Well, basically, I just, I just came in and was like, what? I fell down because I was tired. <laughs> then I walked around. I took in the place. I walked up and down the halls, and I met some people. And everybody's really nice here. And uh, yeah, it just it looked really nice. A big, nice, spacious place to shoot. And uh, yeah, it was just it was a good feeling. It felt very much like it was supposed to happen. We haven't really discussed it. Um, I think I think they're excited, just like I am. Um, Pretty much for all the same reasons. The fact that, you know, it's no longer in the house. And uh, Arnold especially, they all, he, he really seemed to be excited about the new space, the move. He, he liked it when we uh, set up. I have no idea. And, uh, yeah, that's it.